I'm Mike. I'm Mary. It's the final part of this month's Stories and Fables unit, and so it's also the last part of our story, Little Claus and Big Claus. These two rivals with the same name had a bit of trouble between them after Big Claus killed Little Claus's horse. It wasn't a nice thing to do. But Little Claus was trying to get something good out of the bad situation, so he went to town to try to sell the horse's skin. And on his way to town, Little Claus saw a woman in a house eating with a priest. Just then, they were both surprised when the woman's husband suddenly came home. The woman hid the food in the oven. And the priest in a box, and pretended like nothing was going on. Seeing his chance, Little Claus walked into the house, said there were, was a wizard in his bag, and that the wizard would magically make food appear in the oven and a priest appear in a box. Now this lie completely fooled the husband. And got the wife out of trouble. The husband was so amazed, in fact, that he offered to buy the wizard from Little Claus. Little Claus agreed. He collected his money and he went home. And that's where we left it yesterday. Let's now have Mary explain the new vocabulary for today, and then we can start reading the final part of Little Claus and Big Claus. Mary? Yes. 在今天的故事里 ，Big Claus 想要如法炮制，于是就把自己的马杀了，再把马匹带到市场里面去兜售。那市场的英文就是 market。market 就是一个名词，例如 the market starts at 9 a.m. The market starts at 9 a.m. 那个市场早上九点开始营业。那 Big Claus 带着马匹来到市场以后啊，每一张马匹要卖一篮钱，大家就觉得很可笑，就在嘲笑他。那玩笑、笑话的英文就是 joke。Joke 就是一个名词，例如 Ben likes to tell jokes。Ben likes to tell jokes。Ben 很喜欢说笑话。那这个时候啊 ，Big Claus 觉得很郁闷，因为他的马都没啦，又没有赚到钱。但是 Little Claus 却变成了有钱人。那里有我们最后两个单字，一个是 unhappy， unhappy 不愉快的，这、就是一个形容词。Happy 是开心的意思，在前面加上表否定的 u n 字首，就变成了 unhappy 不开心的，很容易记吧？例如 ，The little girl was unhappy。Because she didn't get her gift, the little girl was unhappy because she didn't get her gift. 那位小女孩很不开心，因为她没有拿到她的礼物。那最后一个单字则是 rich, rich， 富有的，这是一个形容词。例如 ，That rich woman has thirty servants. That rich woman has thirty servants. 那位有钱的富人啊，有三十位仆人。那看我的单词和例句，我们赶快回到故事里吧。When Big Claus saw Little Claus's money, he asked, "Where did you get that?" Little Claus said he sold his horse's skin. Big Claus thought, "I have four horses. I can get even more money." So he killed his horses and took their skins. <laughs> Explanation one. Okay, the first sentence in today's story says, "When Big Claus saw Little Claus's money, he asked, 'Where did you get that?'" Remember, Big Claus is much richer than Little Claus, so he's obviously very curious about why Little Claus has so much money all of a sudden. And so Little Claus answers Big Claus's question. We read, Little Claus said he sold his horse's skin. Well, yes, he did, sort of. Hmm, sort of. Except the man who bought it thought the horse's skin was a wizard, 
and probably paid a lot more money than normal. But Big Claus doesn't know about this part of the story. He just thinks that horse skins are selling for a lot of money these days. The story tells us Big Claus thought, I have four horses. I can get even more money. So he killed his horses and took their skins. Uh oh, Big Claus has gotten greedy and now he's making a big mistake. Let's go over to Daphne for our first grammar point of the day. 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是 even more 加名词，意思是甚至更多的。Even 在这里是副词，甚至更的意思，专门用来修饰比较级形容词。而 more 则是形容词，更多的意思。既是 many 多的比较级，也是 much 的比较级，因此既可以接可数名词，也可以接不可数名词。例如 ，The shop is serving even more flavors of ice cream. 这间店甚至供应更多口味的冰淇淋。Google is earning even more money this year. 谷歌今年甚至赚更多钱。Welcome back. Greedy Big Claus has just killed all of his horses so that he can sell their skins for a lot of money. Little Claus told him that he made money from selling his horse skin, but what he didn't tell Big Claus was that he sold the skin to a man who was tricked into thinking it had magical powers. Little Claus made lots of money, but he wasn't honest. No, he certainly wasn't honest. He tricked the man into giving him lots of money, and now he's tricked Big Claus into thinking the same thing. This would be like me taking an old basketball that is worth very little money, but tricking someone into thinking that it was a basketball that Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant or some other famous player had played with. If that person believed my lie, they might be happy to pay lots of money for it. Indeed, that's why we have the old saying, "Buyer beware." It's up to you, the buyer, to check that what you're getting is the right thing. 那刚刚提到的 buyer beware 中的 buyer, b u y e r. 指的是买家，这个是一个名词，而 beware, b e w a r e， 注意提防则是动词，所以合在一起啊，中文的意思就是买者自负，指的就是买家在买东西以前有责任要检查或评估你所购买的商品，不然被骗的话就只能自行承担了。So don't trust other people to always tell you the full truth. There are some tricky people out there, so try not to let yourself be tricked. Or, like Big Claus, try not to trick yourself because you got greedy. Okay, let's take our break here, and then we'll come back to finish off the story. Big Claus took the skins to a market. He asked. For a basket of money for each, people thought it was a joke. They laughed at him. Big Claus was unhappy. He had no horses, and Little Claus was rich. Now maybe they needed to switch names. Explanation two. Welcome back, everyone. Big Claus has just tricked himself into killing his four horses because he thinks that he can sell their skins for lots and lots of money. Of course, this isn't true. No, it isn't. But Big Claus' rival, Little Claus, isn't about to tell the truth. Big Claus was mean to him, so if Big Claus wants to waste money and horses. Little Claus isn't about to stop it. Not at all. Let's keep reading to see what happens next. It says Big Claus took the skins to a market. Right, 
he wants to sell the horse skins. Then we read, he asked for a basket of money for each. Wow, a basket of money! That could be quite a lot, depending on the size of the basket. I guess it was a lot of money for four dead horse skins. We know this because the story says people thought it was a joke. They laughed at him. Oh dear, that's not good. No, people must think that the price is so high that Big Claws can't possibly be serious. That's why they're laughing. Well, let's let the town people stop laughing as we go over to Daphne for another grammar point. 今天的第二则文法是 A laughs at B， 意思是 A 嘲笑 B。Laugh 在这里是不及物动词，意思是笑、嘲笑。后方以介系词 at 针对，引出嘲笑的对象。例如 ，The fashionista laughed at Kathy's dress。那位时尚达人嘲笑凯西的洋装。Okay, we're back. Big Claus has just failed as he was trying to sell his four horse skins. He killed his four healthy horses, and now he has nothing to show for it. He couldn't sell the skins, and people were laughing at him. So it makes sense when we next read, Big Claus was unhappy. Yes, I imagine he was. It also says. He had no horses, and Little Claus was rich. True, that's a complete change from the way it was when the story started. Well put, Mary, and that also helps to explain the final sentence of the article. Now maybe they needed to switch names. Haha, <laughs> right. Big Claus should become Little Claus because he's lost all of his money. And little Claus should now be Big Claus because he is now the richest man in town. 这下子啊，他们或许要交换名字喽。Switch 就是交换的意思，是一个动词。Well, there you go. Don't get greedy. And buyer beware. If a deal looks too good to be true, then it probably is too good to be true. All right, folks. Take care, and we will see all of you back here in the very near future. Until then, bye bye. bye. Little Claus and Big Claus. When Big Claus saw Little Claus's money, he asked, "Where did you get that?" Little Claus said he sold his horse's skin. Big Claus thought, "I have four horses." I can get even more money, so he killed his horses and took their skins. Big Claus took the skins to a market. He asked for a basket of money for each. People thought it was a joke. They laughed at him. Big Claus was unhappy. He had no horses, and Little Claus was rich. Now maybe they needed to switch names. With weather related three interesting and useful phrases. Welcome to Listen to Love and Talk English. I'm Yoyo. 你知道英文真的很有趣呢、嗯，常常会用无关的名词来组成，然后跟这个天气有关的片语，然后用天气的名词组成跟无这个天气完全没有关的英文，这意思就是，嗯，好，我来<笑>教大家呢，有关天气但是又无关天气，什么意思？的三个实用片语怎么说？等一下你就知道。一 ，I will take a rain check。二 ，Tom stole Jane's thunder。三 ，Jeremy Lin took the NBA by storm. 嗯，首先呢，我们要看到 take a rain check， 它是什么呢？就是重新计划，嗯，的意思，或者是择日改天。但为什么字面上是拿一张下雨的支票呢？对啊， take a rain check， 那是因为呢，以前如果在在美国啊，哦，这个
呃棒球比赛或者是球赛呢、嗯，就遇到下雨，那就取消嘛，啊、对不对？那他们就会发球给球迷一张 rain check，, rain check 让他们改天隔日观赏，对，再来择日再来观赏。所以就改天的意思。Take a rain check 就变成改天啦。嗯，所以这个片语就算大晴天也能用。对，比如说我今天很累，爱问我说要不要去喝个啤酒啊？说 Can I take a rain check？ 哦，就改天的意思。I need to take a rain check。对，改天这样。好，这样还有没有别的？第二个，嗯 ，Steal someone's thunder。偷什么东西？偷了某个人的雷，雷声打雷这样。哦。什么意思呢？就是把众人的目光转到自己的身上，就是抢风头。比如说今天是你的生日，好了，大家都在替你准备，大家都在替你这个庆祝，对不对？结果进到进来这边的时候就没穿衣服啊，抢了大家的风头，抢了你的风，因为大家都会看我。对，所以呢，我有必要这样吗 ？Steal someone's thunder 就是这样。OK， 所以呢 ，Tom really stole Jane's。Thunder at the show， 在这个表演里面呢，这个汤姆整个抢尽了 Jane 的风头，这样这样很糟糕哎、欸。Still someone's thunder， 对，不要这样哦、喔，对不对？對你知道这会被人家记恨哎、欸，记恨的，记恨这个片语就是 hold grudges 啊，还真有这个有 grudges， grudges 就是怨恨。<笑>竟竟敢这个样子、啊，对 ，hold grudges， OK。那还有什么跟天气有关的呢？嗯，我们可以说 take 某个地方 take somewhere by storm， 是跟暴风雨什么关系？嗯，就是像风暴、暴风雨一般席卷某个地方，<笑>龙卷风这样过去。那意思呢，就是在某个地方很轰动、很成功的意思啊。Oh. 比如说呢，啊、呃，几年前对不对？林书豪席卷美国、wow. NBA 一鸣惊人，真的。Jeremy Lin took the NBA by storm。哇，他的魅力席卷了 NBA。对对。Yo Yo took Life ABC by storm。呀、yeah, ，席卷了！我不好意思这样讲。席卷了我们出版社。<笑>不好意思。<笑>所以呢，我们要好好的复习运用这三个特别的片语，让大家的口说能力一鸣惊人。你会用这三个就真的很厉害哦！来看今天的 live action。Hello， 悠悠。Yes。Is、uh, Tom going to the party tonight? Yep、mm.。This way, I'm afraid I'll need to take a rain check for tonight. You are not coming to the party. No, it's my、uh, party. No, I'm not because Tom stole my thunder、oh. last time. <clears throat> Come on,、mm. stop holding grudges against him. I believe next time you give a speech, you will take the whole company by storm.、Uh, no, hello, I'm hello. not going. Hello, I'm Hanny. 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那我们今天要用一分钟的时间来复习在 Stories and Fables 学到的四个单词。同学们，您都准备好了没？好，一分钟计时，开始。第一个单词是市场，市场的英文怎么说啊？叫做 market。Market. 如果你在前面加个 super， 就变成 supermarket， 超级市场，也就是超市喽。Okay, she usually goes to the market by bike. 她通常是骑脚踏车去市场。第二个单词叫玩笑，开玩笑那个玩笑怎么说呢？叫做 joke. Joke. My brother told me a funny joke. 我哥哥跟我讲一个很好笑的笑话。好，第三个单词是不愉快的，同学们一定知道快乐的叫做 happy， 那不快乐的就在前面加个 u n 变成 unhappy， unhappy 不愉快的。Jane looks unhappy. Do you know why? Jane 看起来很不开心，你知道原因吗？好，第四个单词是富有的，厚雅郎有钱的怎么说？叫做 rich， rich。Veronica comes from a rich family. Veronica, 她来自一个有钱的家庭。好，太好了，我们在一分钟之内，好，真刚好，在一分钟之内顺利有复习完四个单词，同学们表现很棒，记得要多多复习，多多造句练习。今天的 A B C Interactive English 到此为止，下次见喽，拜拜。Baby, baby, baby.